Hello everyone, this is Biliana from Amsterdam Typewriter and today I want to show you how to install a new replacement knob on your Hermes 3000 typewriter. As you can see here, I have a lovely Hermes 3000 typewriter and it's missing the right knob. And the left knob has been broken. It has been improperly glued like you can see here. It has cracked in a few places. It's still relatively functional, but it will not last long. It doesn't look good either. It's cracked. It needs to be replaced. The only thing you need in order to install your knob on your typewriter is a type of glue. I have here two types of glue. One of them is an all-purpose glue or the so-called hobby glue. I don't recommend this type of glue because it takes a lot of time to set and it's not as strong as the super glue. It can take eight hours or more, so I do not recommend it. I highly recommend to use super glue. Any type of moment glue will work. Uh, it can be from any brand. This is basically a cyanoacrylate glue. It can be called a super glue, moment glue, one second glue or something else. So make sure you have this uh, before starting your knob installation. If you want to work on the right knob, you want to push your carriage all the way to the right in order not to have any glue drip on your typewriter and ruin your paint. You can do so by pressing this button here. It's the carriage release button. You press it and you push the carriage all the way to the right. Now here I would suggest to either use a napkin or an old cloth to collect the, the glue if, if some of it drips and keep some spare napkins uh, close by just in case. So now what you want to do is you want to take your knob. Remember the left knob has a small hole in it. So it has a small hole where the screw is located. So that's your left knob, remember it. And the right knob is quite uniform. So what you want to do is you want to take your knob. Don't put any glue yet. Don't put any glue just yet. So take it and try to fit it in on the shaft. So try to fit it in all the way and just do it with your hand. Make sure it's nicely parallel to your typewriter so it's not sticking out in a weird way. So once it's all the way in, you want to push back your carriage and now you want to see if it's really fitted well. In order to do so, you need to get your lid and try to fit it. So I have my lid here and I will try to fit my lid to see if I fit my knob all the way in. Now you could hear the click. The case is nicely closed, which means the knob has been fit all the way in. Now this was just practice. What you want to do now is you want to take off the knob Apply a few drops of super glue. I would recommend starting with two or three drops, not more, in order to avoid excessive glue. And then put the knob back on, just like I showed you. This is all you need to do on the right or left side, depending on which knob you're installing. It's the same process. And once you have done that, please leave it to settle at least for two hours. So super glue needs at least two hours to set and harden. And as you can see, the knob is already functional because this is a tight fit. Our knobs are designed to be very durable. So don't be afraid that you will break it. It will not break. It's quite hard and quite durable. So uh, congratulations, you now have uh, a new knob.